Legal Shield Associates, uh, I've taken a liberty. I'm at one of our groups and I'm filming something for them, but I wanted to speak to you. Something happened to me this morning that has never happened in my whole seven year history with Legal Shield, and I wanted to speak to you about it. It really matters. Please give me your full attention just for a couple of uh, minutes. I got a phone call mid morning this morning from uh, one of our members in a, a, a group and uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about that member to protect her anonymity. I'll just tell you that it was a lady. And she phoned me and she told me that the reason why she was calling was because she was a victim of identity theft and she was worried out of her mind, she didn't know what to do about it, and she wondered if our legal plan could help, and so on. But what she told me next just so moved me. She said, two months ago, my, uh, my partner died, and uh, I said to her, did you have wills? And she said, no, we never got it done. Uh, and uh, she told me of some of the pain that she was experiencing at the moment, uh, just being a domestic partner and the challenge of sorting all that out uh, without a will. And uh, then we talked more about her identity theft breach. I told her that I would phone our head office and uh, I would see what we could do to help. And head office was fantastic. Because of a change in the plan just a few months ago, now I was able to enroll her. I'll be doing it over the weekend. She can speak to our advisors, and all the power and might of Kroll will come to her aid on Monday morning. And I can tell you, I will make sure they do. I'll make sure it happens. I will make sure that that woman who's on her own, who, who's you know, not, not a spring chicken, but needs help and needs people to come alongside her who are experts. Let me tell you this next bit of the story. I left home to drive here to, uh, to do this filming today. And as I drove, I wept. I don't know how long. And it became uncontrollable. As I thought about I could have done more, I could have educated better, I could have done a better job in that group of informing them how to use our services, how to get their wills done. I could have followed up with, with members. I could have asked them, have you done your will? Have you updated uh, your will? Have you got your living will done? Have you got your power of attorney done? But it was the first time that this had happened to me, that I'd seen in, in kind and real life 4.1 million members and this one woman is affected because she didn't use her membership. I challenge you, I challenge me to go out and do two things. One, to make sure that our members everywhere across Canada and America know that uh, they can be protected. They can get this done. It's not difficult because none of us know what's going to happen. We're experiencing a snowstorm in, in the Pacific Northwest uh, at the moment. People are dying on the roads. Nobody knows. Can I urge you, as I'm urging me, to go back to members, to write to members, to telephone members, to talk to decision makers, to get into situations and help people do what they know they need to do, but they put off. Uh, and even we've taken away the cost factor, but still people have got to do it, and we've got to make a difference. And so I challenge you to join me in making uh, a difference. And when you're talking to employers and they're considering our service, speak with passion, connect your head to your heart and make them realize that what we do is incredibly important. It makes a difference, it changes lives. You know the figures, 40,000 people use our services every single week. But though that is not a number, 
That is 40,000 individuals, human beings that need our protection and our help and we have a service that is second to none and we've got to do something uh, about it. I, I hope that I've in some way stirred you in, in, as I have been stirred this morning and we take action as a result. Thank you for listening, dear colleagues.